All right, I'm gonna try and rip this video just off the dome, which is not what I normally do. I normally have like a, at least some kind of structure for these videos, but I just felt in my spirit that I needed to talk about this. For those of you who have never been to this channel, my name is Braden, and this channel is solely dedicated to helping you to become the man that God has created you to be. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what real masculinity actually looks like. All right, a lot of people have this false perception that masculinity is like the red pill, alpha male space of, you know, just Justin Waller, Andrew Tate, Hamza, all these like cringy red pill douchebag guys, right? <laughs> I know I'm Christian. I shouldn't talk about people that way, but it's the facts, man. These guys are the epitome of like the toxic masculinity sphere where all they do is just try and bang as many women as possible. A lot of them are Muslims and they're just deceiving so many young men into thinking that that's what real masculinity is, right? Bang as many girls as you possibly can. Sleep with all these girls, treat them all like garbage, don't commit to anyone. And they are literally like the male version of feminism, right? Because feminism, the the whole concept, the whole reason that that is a thing is to destroy the nuclear family. Feminism is from Satan. The red pill is from Satan, right? It goes against God's design for marriage between a man and a woman, right? The red pill tells you, bang as many girls as you possibly can. Don't commit to anyone. Marriage is for losers. Men need to go their own way and just F and don't have your own family and just be a douchebag, playboy, right? So it destroys women and it makes men these just super insecure guys that think that in order to get validation in order to be enough, they need to bang girls, and it's just BS. And the product of the red pill is more and more broken women and more and more insecure douchebag guys. <laughs> That's about as blunt as you can be. And both sides are not happy, right? Even if you bang all these girls and you have all the clout or you're rich or you're successful to the world standards, at the end of the day, like I've lived that life. Whenever you're sitting on your bed and the girl's not around, when you think to yourself, you know that deep down your life sucks and you're empty because you don't have God in your life. You are your own God. The idea of the whole red pill space and that being like the best possible way to live is just completely false. Guys need to realize that the epitome of masculinity is Jesus Christ. And what Jesus stood for are, are morals and values like service, humility, love, right? Being direct, being honest, being a leader, but at the same time, loving people and speaking to them in love, right? Not breaking people down, not making fun of them, not telling guys that they need to go and bang as many girls as possible, right? Jesus said that the humble will be exalted, right? And the prideful will be destroyed, right? All these guys are filled with pride. All they care about is themselves, making as much money as possible for them, banging as many girls as possible so that they can be fulfilled and happy, right? All they care about is themselves and they're arrogant, super, super, Super arrogant, man. I can't even watch these guys at all, man. They just talk about themselves and how successful and how awesome they are. None of them have an ounce of humility in them. And it's just not a fulfilling way to live. Whenever all you think about is yourself and how to please yourself, you live a very unfulfilling life because you can never do enough to please yourself. You always need more. You always need more money in the bank. You always need more girls, you know, liking your pictures or swiping with you or matching with you on Tinder or in your bed at the end of the night, right? It's never enough. The only way to actually live a fulfilling life is by serving serving other people and by loving people, right? And treating them as you would treat yourself, right? So if you're a born again believer, you need to stop watching all the red pill, degenerate dating content. It's all garbage. You need to start watching sermons and videos from based Christian YouTubers like myself, David Hammond, Ryan Walker. Watch a, a good Paul Washer sermon. Learn what it means to be a real biblical man. Like really think about what it would take to be a father and to be a husband one day, right? You need to be strong. You need to be in God's word. You need to be based. You need to become a provider, a protector, right? You're gonna have a future family of your wife and, and however many children that you have, they're all gonna be depending and counting on you to lead them and to guide them, right? That's what biblical masculinity looks like. Being rooted in God's word, being able to show them what it means to be a disciple of Christ, being able to lead your wife, right? If all you do is watch all this red pill degenerate dating content, not only are you gonna make your future woman's life worse by treating her like garbage, you're also gonna set your future family up for failure. You need to be based and rooted in God's word. You need to allow the Holy Spirit to guide your life, not Andrew Tate and all these screw offs. Right, Galatians chapter two, verse 20 tells us that we have been crucified with Christ on that cross. And the life that you and I now live, we live by faith in the son of God who died and gave himself up for us, right? You and I are called to walk as born again Christians in a newness of life to be guided by the Holy Spirit. And for the Holy Spirit to influence how we think, how we talk, what we do, how we spend our time, how we spend our money. And also you need to realize that our inputs determine our outputs. 
right? If you're filling your mind with degenerate content, just garbage, degenerate music, degenerate YouTubers, degenerate podcasts, you are going to become a degenerate. It's going to go into your subconscious mind. The more and more that you listen to, don't text her back too fast, you know, treat her like garbage, don't even bring her out on a real date, just, you know, you know, just invite her over to Netflix and chill. All that stuff is going to go into your subconscious mind and it will influence the man that you become. So if you want to become a biblically based godly man, you need to fill your mind with godly content. You need to start reading your Bible every single day. No excuses. You need to start listening to sermons and biblical podcasts and biblical YouTubers. Model your life after Christ, right? Paul says in so many of his epistles that we are called to model our lives after Paul because Paul is modeling his life after Jesus. And if you want to know how Jesus lived, you have to read the Bible, right? Read the Gospels. Read how Paul lived all throughout the epistles, all throughout the New Testament. And model your life after Jesus and after Paul not after Andrew Tate. I want you to do future you a favor, scroll down and click on that subscribe button so that you can see more videos on your homepage just like this one. And the reason that I make this video is because I want more like-minded, godly Christian men and women on this planet, right? There's not enough people that are making like high quality Christian content on this platform. A lot of the guys, bless their heart, they're just either super old men that are just not relatable or they're these like effeminate, soft Christian guys that are just not at all relatable to the men that I want to speak into, like men like myself. I relate much more to a guy that used to live in the world, right? A guy who used to be a degenerate who came out of the world because that's exactly like my testimony and my story. That's why I relate so much to guys like David Hammond, right? And they're, they're blunt, they're direct, they're honest, they're bold, and they're not afraid of offending people, right? So many people in our world today are so scared of making people feel bad or offending them. Even though Jesus says that he came down to this earth not to bring peace, but to bring a sword, right? To stand on biblical truths, which go completely countercultural to the rest of our world right now. That's because our world is run by Satan and he's doing everything in his power to to deceive as many people as he possibly can before Jesus comes back. But that's another topic for another video. We need more masculine, bold, godly men that are not afraid of offending people. Like, I feel like the life that I'm living now is like a modern day Paul, honestly. And I know David Hammond says this all the time, but it's true. You have to be willing to die for the things that you believe in. You have to be willing to lose everything on this walk in becoming born again and following after Christ. And you cannot allow these evil degenerates to influence you in the way that you live your life, right? All, all of the social media, all this crap that they try and shove down your throat is a lie. You need to get based, you need to follow after Christ, you need to read your Bible, and you need to get around the right group of godly Christian men so that you can stop being feminine and emasculated and soft and you can finally reach your highest potential, becoming the man that God created you to be. He didn't create you to be soft and weak and timid. He created you to be strong, direct. Most importantly, he created you to be a leader. Influence people in in your church, in your Bible study, in your small groups, in your community. Start listening to godly Christian men and I promise you, your future self will thank you for taking my advice. As always, there's both one-on-one coaching and ways for you to support the channel. I drop all the links below for any and all donations. Thank you so much for donating. I really appreciate it. Running this channel is not cheap (laughs) by any means, but everything helps and I love coaching each and every one of you men. It is a blessing, it is an honor. And I'm excited to hop on a call with each and every one of you. And I'm very excited to be the guy to mentor you on this walk because it is not easy. And we need more godly men in this world. So like I said, if you're interested, click any of the links below. Thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for watching. I hope that God blesses you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.